Are you getting ready to sail on the Celebrity Beyond? Well, you're going to want to stick around because I'm going to take you on a tour of this beautiful and fantastic brand new ship right after this. Hello and welcome to Taser Travel. We're starting out in the hallways here of the beautiful Celebrity Beyond to show you a little bit of a tip about how to find your way around the ship. When you get off the elevators, look for the artwork or look for the stairs. That way you kind of know which direction it is that you need to go. Now we're heading down to deck number two to take a look at Destination Gateway. This is actually where you'll get on and off the ship during your ports of call. But they also hold other events here too. Today they're actually doing an art auction. Now we're going to go past this beautiful mural and we're going to go in and take a look at the basement. This is actually the cool teen hangout area on the ship. It looks like a lot of fun. Now we're going to head upstairs to deck number three and this actually brings us into the martini bar. Exciting place that really gets hopping at night. This place was really, really busy. In the evening, people enjoying drinks and live entertainment too. Now we're gonna make our way aft on the ship as we take a quick look at where you'll find guest services as well as the Eye Lounge, kind of the internet cafe on board, the Celebrity Beyond. Here you can find some places to hook up and maybe also buy some things for your digital devices. Now we're gonna make our way further aft. We're passing by some kind of really neat artwork here on the walls as we make our way back towards where you're gonna find the main dining rooms on board the ship. And as we do, we're gonna make our way into the Tuscan restaurant. Beautiful restaurant in here. We actually had a chance to dine here one evening. Really lovely meal in the Tuscan restaurant. Now we're making our way over to the other side of the ship. We're going to head in and take a look at Normandy. Just one of the other wonderful restaurants here. Main dining room that you'll have a chance to dine in in the evening. Now we're going to make our way up to deck number four to take a look at the other two dining rooms that you can enjoy while on board the ship. The Cosmopolitan. This is actually where they're serving breakfast in the morning. I would recommend making a reservation because it is by far the most popular restaurant to dine in and it fills up fast. Let's head out of the Cosmopolitan restaurant, stop here and take a look at this crystal encrusted peacock on our way over to the Cypress restaurant. Just again, one more place to try out during your cruise on board the Celebrity Beyond. Now let's make our way forward as we pass some interesting decorations along the way, passing a number of shops on board here and where you're also going to find Effie Jewelers to make a beautiful diamond or jewelry purchase on board the ship. Now let's make our way through the casino. If you're wanting to try out your luck on board the ship, this is where you're going to want to come. Lots of table games, lots of slots. So come here and give it a try. Now we're making our way past the craft social bar, another busy place in the evenings, as well as I noticed on sea days, come here, grab some food. It is a la carte and also here you can get a drink too. Now we're going to take a look down onto where the martini bar was also known as Grand Plaza. And now we're passing by the Grand Bistro. You can come here and have some lunch or even come and enjoy the Petite Chef, one of the many specialty dining options on board the ship. And here's where you'll find Les Voyages. I didn't make my way inside this restaurant. 
but it does look like a great place for a meal. Now we're going to head over and take a look at the cafe. Here you can come and get yourself some coffee in the morning or even all day long. And now continuing on a little bit more, we're going to stop here at the photo gallery. Everything is now digital. Doesn't look like any more wasted photos printed on board this ship. And then right next to that, you're going to find where you can sign up for excursions. But just know you can also reserve these on the app. Some more shopping and then here where you'll find the place to come and reserve your next cruise the future cruise desk on board the ship so come here sign up for that next wonderful celebrity cruise now we're going to make our way and find ourselves in the club another popular hangout place in the evenings and they also hold a number of events here during the day as well you might find trivia you might find games, you might find something else. So be sure to check the daily schedule. And now we're gonna make our way into the main theater. Kind of an interesting style and design in this theater. Kind of have circular seating that's kind of going around most of the stage up there. Really nice shows here on board the ship. Though I'll be honest with you, they weren't our favorites. Now let's head up the stairs to deck number five. Here's the entrance to the balcony area of the main theater. And now we're gonna head down this hallway, passing some really nice seating areas with some art. This is in fact the art gallery. And if you're a lover of art, you're gonna love the celebrity beyond. Now let's take a walk through the world-class bar. Moving further aft, we're going to come up on Raw on 5. This is probably a place that you would love if you love raw seafood. But it's not for us. I'm a yuck on that. Now moving out here, we're going to see one more look down to the Martini Bar and Grand Plaza. Three-story atrium here on board the Beyond. Now we'll make our way into Fine Cut Steakhouse, a great place to get some great steaks on board the ship. Now in just a second here, we're gonna be zipping past one of the exits out to the Magic Carpet Cartier store, as well as a place you can get some Bulgari accessories. Now we'll be moving through and into perhaps one of the most interesting and unique things on board the ship. Not sure how to explain this, this really interesting art installation where it seems like it's an endless array of mirrors. And it's even more interesting at night. More artwork out here, including these deer that are a mirror image top and bottom and here's the blue restaurant specifically and only for those in an aqua class cabin now like i said we'll be moving into one of the most unique things on board the ship and probably on just about any ship and that happens to be eden this here is the eden cafe open in the morning for breakfast so if you're wanting to get some breakfast and enjoy a nice meal and relax in Eden. This is the place to come in the morning. Now we're gonna take a look at Eden here. Like I said, really interesting. Plenty of live plants hanging around all over the place. It truly is like the Garden of Eden. And since this is at the back of the ship, you do have a wonderful trail of water as we're sailing through sea on this sea day. Mm -hmm. 
And here is a view of the Eden restaurant from above, which we'll actually take a look at in just a moment. Now heading outside to the open decks. Unfortunately, this area here is actually a smoking area on board the ship. So probably not a place you really want to come and hang out in too much, unless of course you happen to be a smoker. Now we'll head down really quickly here, take a look at the Eden restaurant. Definitely is kind of an interesting place. And we didn't actually have a chance to dine here on our cruise because it is small and it really fills up fast. So make those reservations early. Now off to the side here of Eden, you're actually gonna find an entrance to what is the ramp to deck six. Lots of seating areas, kind of interesting seating choices here. And there's also a view down here to Eden, which in the evenings they actually turn those chairs around that are facing out the back to have them face down here to watch the shows. Now some more seating areas in here, which might actually be good vantage points to the many shows that take place in Eden in the evenings. Be sure to get there early for the shows in here because they do fill up fast and are very crowded. Now unfortunately there is no way to get from here on deck six out to one of the elevators. So we have to head back down and head out here to make our way out. We are now passing Mont Blanc. If you're looking for some accessories or even some luggage, that is the shop for you. Now it's time. We've seen all of the lower public areas. Now we're going to head up to deck 14. This is where you're going to find the Ocean View Cafe, but be sure to stop there and wash your hands on the way in. Now the Ocean View Cafe here on the Celebrity Beyond it's as high as two decks with beautiful ocean views. This is by far the best buffet at sea that we have ever experienced. Let's take a look around. Now let's make our way aft passing one of the beverage stations as we enter the Ocean View Bar. Plenty of seating and serving up great cocktails. You're going to find this right next to where you'll get pizza freshly baked every day, almost all day long. Now heading out the back doors, you're going to find some outdoor seating for you to enjoy some of that pizza or even bring your food here from the buffet for a beautiful view as you sail through the sea. Now moving back forward, we're going to take another walk through the Ocean View Cafe, taking a little more of a look at what it has to offer. Plenty of seating and, again, those great ocean views, giving it the name Ocean View Cafe. Now making our way out to the pool area, we're going to be passing through a really neat design feature. But first, look up. There's the magic carpet on the deck above. And as we walk through here, this is that really cool design feature I was talking about, as well as entrances to the magic carpet when it is stationed here on deck 14. And up next is the mast grill where you can get hamburgers and hot dogs on board the ship. Now through these sliding doors, we're entering the solarium, a place for complete in total relaxation. Now 
And here at the front of the ship is where you'll find the entrance to the spa. Thermal suites, relaxation room, salon, and barber. Now I didn't actually get a chance to head in there, but we will take a look at the spa cafe and juice bar. As we make our way back into the pool area, don't forget to grab those towels. You're going to need them. Let's now take a look at all of the pool seating here around the pool. Plenty of loungers on deck here and this really cool statue of a strong man holding up an elephant. The pool area here also has some really cool seating. And here's the beautiful pool that's here on board the Celebrity Beyond. And over there on the other side, you can see a number of cabanas that you can rent for the day while you're enjoying some poolside drinks ordered from the pool bar. Now let's make our way up to deck 15 here. You're going to find some more seating right there and then up to deck 16. Now this area here, we're kind of kept out. This is the retreat, you know, for those guests that paid a lot more money than we did. Now we're making our way around the jogging track, but here's a quick pit stop into the magic carpet. Great seating here. This is actually a bar that they have on board the ship, but I understand it can also be used for debarkation when getting off the ship with a tender well in port. And here you can see some great views as we sail the Caribbean Sea. Heading back onto the ship, we're going to take a look at the pool area here from up above. Now we're passing through the mast bar with a nice view here of the big sign on the side of the ship indicating you're on the beyond. And while we're here on deck 16, we're actually going to be heading down towards 15, but not before we stop and take another look at the pool area, as well as some of the really neat hot tubs that they have on board the ship. Now continuing around the jogging track, we're going to make our way into the rooftop garden. Now passing by one of the infinity pools, we're actually going to get a better look at those in the near future but here we have the rooftop garden lots of seating and they actually have it set up here today to watch some football the world cup there is plenty of seating here and we're going to make our way through the rooftop garden grill another one of the specialty dining restaurants on board the ship and if you want to see another video about the food on board the celebrity beyond I will put a link to a video in the upper right when it's available guide to all the food on the beyond and if you don't see that link just yet be sure to hit subscribe down below so you'll be notified when that video has been posted we're now walking through the sunset bar at the after the ship inspired by the designs of nate burkus Some great and wonderful cabanas here. Lots of seating. This is a really, really cool place to hang out. Now we're going to make our way towards those infinity pools we zipped past earlier. Really cool and unique feature on board the Beyond. If 
you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help with these videos. To see another video about Celebrity Beyond, check out the one right here. And until next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.